power in the word of God that gives salvation. The power in the word of God that gives healing. The power in the word of God that brings deliverance. Let that power be available right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that wants you to listen to controversy and not getting the truth of the word of God, let that power die to the root in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bless your name. I lift you higher because you are the giver of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Thank you, Lord God, because you rule in the affair of man and life belongs unto you. No one can take life except you, Lord God. Take all the glory, honor, adoration in the name of Jesus Christ. As men that are watching this clip, I pray for you. Any area, problem and suffering has become your partner. I decrease separation now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every arrow of problem backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to this prayer and say, beautiful, dynamic, amen to it. Any power, any spirit that may want to use you as an experiment of sorrow, that they want to try one affliction or the other in your life, that they want to see how you will feel or how you will react. I decree, let our power and the spirit die simultaneously in the name of Jesus Christ. Two things that are very essential to your living, sun, earth, and peace of mind shall be permanently be available for you throughout the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the grace of God, we want to start the subtopic of the idolatry in religious. Thank God that God has helped us to talk about idolatry in Christian religion. And as I told you that time, that there is difference between Christian and Christian religion. I still want to say this one categorically. Every religion of the world are man-made religion. Religion comes as a result of ideology. Religion grows in culture. And that is why you will see different religion that it will carry the culture of where it started. The European people spread Christianity. And that is why most of their pastors wear suits whenever they want to preach. The Arabic people spread the religion of Islam. And that is why you see a lot of them now, they wear turban. Turban, before Islamic religion came into existence, was as a result of the sun, the heat, the temperature of that environment, they use their turban to defend their head so that the heat will not penetrate into their head. They use that turban to cover their eyes because it was a desert. A lot of dust are there. But when Islam is started, there is that tendency of spreading both their culture and their ideology, even to the entire world. I want to talk about Islamic religion. But before we go to the origin of Islamic religion, let me correct this impression. You know, the perspective we always use to checkmate or to see or to examine or to analyze Islam or Muslim is maybe all of them are terrorists. I want to say this one categorically. Not all Muslims are terrorists. Not all Muslims are terrorists. It's only some few of them that are terrorists as a result of some ideology. And in Islam, they have a lot of sects, just like Christian has a lot of denomination. In Islam, they have what they call Sunni Muslims that follow Sunnah. That is, they follow the tradition of the prophet. They have Shite Muslims that come out of those Sunnis as a result of political issue. They have Sufi, they have Salafi, they have Ahmadiyya. They have a lot of movements. They have a lot of association in Islam. All these associations and these sects and movements, they have diverse ideology. Well, let me say this one. All of them use Quran. 
But the interpretation of that Quran is different within those sects. And that called for a lot of conspiracy. Apart from terrorists attacking other religious people, there are terrorists in Islam too that attack many Muslims that do not believe in their ideology. And by the grace of God, we will be exposed to the origin and different sects in Islam. But before that too, let me say this one categorically. Islam religion and Christian religion, they are like parallel lines that they can never agree. Though the government of different countries, they are trying to do what is called interfaith and tolerance of one another. The moderate Muslim, they can quickly agree with moderate Christian. But there are some injunctions in the book that the two of them are using. The Bible as Holy Bible, the Quran as Holy Quran. There are some things there that they may not be able to agree when it comes to religion aspect. In the Bible, the Lord Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Whosoever that will come to God can only call, come through him. That is, there is no other way of salvation except through the Lord Jesus Christ. In the Quran too, there's an injunction that says, in Adina in the lie al Islam, there is no other religion that Allah prefer except Islam. And by the time you look at all these things, and you look at what the Christian religion called the Gentile, and how God want them to relate to the Gentile, and what the God of Islam, Allah, call the gentile the infidel the unbeliever and how he wants them to relate with those unbelievers you will now discover and confirm that the controversy will continue but by the grace of god we will be putting it out any muslim or any islamic scholar their practices whether it relate to idolatry or it relate to the way of the law the law will help us in this topic in the name of jesus see you next week we talk about the origin of Islam. God bless you. Remain rapturable in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.